He's losing blood fast, McLaughlin. We're gonna have to cut it. Cut it, cut it, cut it? No! McLaughlin, what the fuck? now. Prep the patient for amputation. No, stop! Please, no! No, fuck! Fuck, fuck, Jesus, no! So yeah, what the hell is that? You're probably wondering how I got into this situation. Honestly, I couldn't tell you. Everything's still kind of fuzzy. Uh, I don't really know what happened, but... So I'll just play the role as the unreliable narrator. Don't blame me for making mistakes. I am literally having my arm cut for the moment, so... <laughs> Maybe even more than my arm for all I know. Good thing this isn't actually happening to me. I hope. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Uh, moving on. Uh, so, hopefully that didn't happen. Uh, well, like all narrations, let me start at the beginning. In convenient flashback format. So there I was, right? I'm trying to get home from an exhausting day at work. I was walking across this huge stretch downtown. Something to know about downtown is that there are two types of inhabitants. The criminal fucks who kill and are toxic to society, and the innocent ones who get killed by the criminal fucks. Go ahead and guess which one I am. First, let me tell you about the real bad guys. This flashback's real antagonist is Big Bob, the biggest downtown gangster. Who rules with an iron deficiency and diabetes. He's the absolute worst, but not exactly the reason why I'm this piss puddle of a mess. Inner Tommy Braxton. Tommy Braxton. What a jackass I am for being friends with this guy. His parents are nobodies. He was born in an alley downtown. A born raised down. My folks took him in, raised him, and he was only trouble. He's been in and out of jail since the time we could walk. He even brought me along to jail once after I failed carjacking. Tell me this is so stupid. Shut the fuck up, man. It's gotta be fun. I'm a fucking day off. Please, hands up. See? Tommy just spells fucking trouble. However, Tommy's my best friend. He's my brother. We've always had each other's backs and arms. So when I found out he was working for Big Bob, I knew something would happen. Either it would be him doing something bad. Or it would be something bad happening to him. Rather than face a life sentence, not that he hasn't been threatened with one before, he talked. Anyways, back to the main flashback. I'm walking home from my job, downtown, 
when I see the rat himself running towards me. He has some goofy backpack in his hands. Thinking nothing of the situation, I wave at him and smile. But he keeps running. Next thing I know, those three from the beginning are chasing after him, and Tom right. dumps the bag in my hands. Look, I have no idea what was in the bag. I was paralyzed in that moment. I had to make a decision. Run, or just stand there shell-shocked and eventually be mutilated by Big Bob's thugs. On one hand, I want to live and not be hunted by Big Bob for the rest of my pathetic life. Or, I could give the backpack and tell them where Tommy went. I mean, there was so much I hadn't done yet. I wanted to be a parent, want a house, get out, down, get out of downtown, go to Pilates classes with, when I get arthritis. Even the new season of Fuller House was set to come on soon. I couldn't watch it if I'm dead. Wait, what am I even saying? I had to flee for my life. I couldn't run on my brother. Tommy was everything to me growing up. I had to run. Sorry, Bob Saget. Just like in the movies, I turned to run away, escape him in. For I was making this decision for Tommy. For love, for friendship, for family, for freedom. Life's a buzzkill. I was tackled right before I could run. I felt some sharp object, probably a needle, being shoved in the back of my neck and then instant blackness. Anyways, when I came to, I was in the aforementioned alleyway. Patient for oh God, no! Will you please let me talk about this? Please talk about this, please. Fuck me, no. Please, please don't cut it. Oh God, no fuck. Stop. No. no, stop. <laughs> So I was wrong about the downtown gangster's name. Sue me, bitch. But since you're all caught up, uh, we can now cut to after the amputation. Here I am, alone, one-armed. Turns out I'm the type of inhabitant downtown that gets killed by criminal fucks. I mean, what can you do? There was an awful place. It'll break your body, your heart, your soul, in every possible. But it's the little things that matter. In this case, Fat Frank, Big Bob, whatever the fuck his name is, <laughs> was wrong too. Turns out, you do need two arms to live.